this webinar on introducing to you the new Doyle Rewards. Um, I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. So today we're very honoured to have uh, Darren, our CEO, that's here. Say hello, Darren. Morning, morning, everyone. Um, we also have Sabrina. Sabrina, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your prizes are today, please. Um, hello, good morning, and thanks for joining us today. I'm Sabrina, and I'm from the Dominican Republic Tourist Office in London. And we have um, three um, Cody boxes for you um, in the raffle today. Super, thank you very much. So to start with, Darren's going to take the screen and show you all about Doe Rewards. Okay, morning everyone again. So I just want to introduce also Petra from Germany and Rebecca who's dialed in from uh, head office, but she's in Canada today. So hello to more of the Dominican team. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, many of you are already members of my booking rewards and those who are new then stay tuned. We've got some exciting news. This is the announcement and launch of the Dominican Republic DO Travel Rewards Program. Uh, and they have joined us globally. So wherever you are in the world, you will be able to benefit from a booking reward with the dotravelrewards.com program. And we're going to show you how that works today. If by chance you are not an English speaker, si vous parlez français, ob ihr Deutsch spricht, si vous parlez espagnol, there is another webinar later this week in French and in German. So stay tuned. Sarah will make sure that you get that link. Um, and we can send you otherwise if you request. Wenn ihr das auf Deutsch möchtet, ist es entweder morgen oder übermorgen. En español lo vamos a hacer dentro de unos días. Si vous le voulez en français, on va le faire demain ou après demain. Donc, renseignez-vous chez nous et on vous envoie le link. So, for those who speak English, welcome back. Um, I'm going to share my screen now and show you the Dominican Republic um, program from the beginning. So this is Dominican Republic, uh, the Dominican Republic Travel Rewards Program front page, home page. You don't have to go to My Booking Rewards to find it. All you do is type in dotravelrewards.com and it will take you to this very page. And as you may know, if you're already familiar, this is the before you log in page, the pre-login to give you a little taster of what's available. With the Dominican Republic Program, it's a cash earning of $1, one euro or one pound sterling for every night you book. And there's a minimum stay of five nights if you're in Europe. So we all know that we stay between seven, nine and 12. So you're in good shape. You log your bookings with the program and you will be earning between seven, nine, 10 pounds per booking. Let's check it out. So if I join because I'm brand new, then you will simply fill in the form and it will know if you're already a member. And if I am, then I can click in, of course, with my standard login. If I'm not a member, then you just complete the form and Bob's your uncle, you will join. So let me go back again and show you dotravelrewards.com. If I log in, I can log in with my normal login as an agent and I'm in. So there's two ways of coming in, either as an existing member, you just log in, or if you want to join, you fill in the form and you're in to DO Travel Rewards. And then once in, you will know that you can go to webinars that have been relevant. Even this one will be posted. You can join the program, message us. You can message all of the team, or you can of course log the booking. And below is a little bit more information if it's not previously been shared. Logging a booking is simple. For those of you who don't know, all of the hotels in, in the Dominican Republic portfolio are all listed here in alphabetical order at the moment, or you can just type one in. So let's try Hilton. There we are, there's three. Hilton, La Romana, adults only. Here's the great thing about being a member of My Booking Rewards. If you type in the name of the hotel, it will tell you if there are more rewards available. So for this hotel, you will get a DO Travel Rewards reward, plus you'll get a reward from 
Playa Hotels, plus you'll get another reward from the Caribbean. So you triple up your opportunities. Let me try another one. Royalton, Hideaway. And let's check below. I can fill in the form and it will tell me I'm eligible for two more rewards. So DO Travel Rewards has partnered up with all of the hotels in, in the country as well. And those who have a program, you will benefit from those as well. Automatically, you don't have to log in and you don't have to enter three times. You enter your booking once and we will find the reward that is for you. Similarly, if you are already a member of My Booking Rewards and you're on your homepage, we all have a homepage, and you don't know if there's a reward for you, same thing applies, log any booking. And let's just type in a name of a Dominican hotel and bingo, it will tell you below all of the rewards available to you, including the DO travel rewards. If you log the booking here, we will join you to all of those programs automatically. You only have to enter the booking once, whichever place you're in. If you're a member of the My Caribbean Rewards program, and a Dominican Republic hotel is what you're logging that day, we will join you to the Dominican Republic program as well. So either way, as long as you keep logging your bookings, we will help you find the rewards that are available, available to you. So far, so good. Any questions so far? Okay, so messages are simple. Click on the message, and you can write to the Dominican team to ask any questions and the team will be glad to help and answer back. That's the same with any program within the My Book and Rewards family. The Dominican team are on standby. Rebecca's there to speak five languages back to you if you have a question. And good luck, Rebecca. I see a question. Someone is asking yes. if this is for US, uh, UK residents only. Um, no, and this is a global program. This is a fully global program and it's available for agents all over the world. We will find the program that is relevant to you and we will reward you in the currency of your nation or your home uh, location. If you're a British agent, you may know already that we will automatically deduct the tax for you when you earn. As you pull the money from your virtual account, it gets deducted and we pay that automatically. If you are non-UK resident, i.e. if you live in France, Spain, USA, then you must self-declare. If you are not a taxpayer and you're example in Jersey or Guernsey, um, or you wish to declare yourself within the UK, then you have to write and request that we remove your automatic tax deduction. But we, we recommend and prefer that all tax is deducted out of the UK by us, and then it's clean, and then your employer doesn't have to worry, and neither do you. Uh, hopefully that one's answered. Any other questions? Otherwise, I'm going to hand over to the team to talk about the destination. The reward program is as simple as this. Come in, join or log, log a booking. As soon as you've logged your booking, we will approve the booking once the booking has arrived. If your booking has already traveled, sorry, you cannot log it. If your booking has not traveled and you booked it after the 21st of September, you can log that booking today and keep logging your bookings for your future arrivals. So good luck and earn as much as you can. Please also stay tuned for other promotional activity within the DO Travel Rewards Program. There will be more spot prizes, more opportunities, and more things happening as long as you stay tuned. Check in once a week if you're not logging bookings every other day. There may be some fam trips that you can be uh, that you can join. You it, to be eligible, of course, you have to log bookings. And if we see you, we can invite you. We have more questions, um, Darren. Yes. So we have a question from Tiffany Gunn, and she's asking um, how far back she can um, log her reservation. She's had some already. So I guess you you've mentioned that. Yeah. You, um, if you made your booking or your customer made the booking before the 21st of September, it's not eligible. Any bookings made by you since the 21st of September for future travel, you can log them. If your booking has traveled already, you cannot log the booking because it's already checked in. If your booking is not yet to travel, if it has not yet arrived and you booked it from the 21st of September onwards, you can log the booking now. I hope we have another question um, from um, Ray um, Rabran here. And it, um, he's saying um, if it matters if it's booked uh, via hotel bank um, or if it's a hotel direct booking. 
No, you can book it at whichever channel you choose to book through. It doesn't matter as long as that booking is coming through to the Dominican Republic and they're staying in the country in one of the recognized hotels, you are eligible. It doesn't matter if they come indirect, direct, if it's accommodation only or if it's a package. Simply complete the form here and tell us which tour operator you booked it through or which channel you booked it through and you should otherwise always be recognized. Um, I think, Darren, that I will I will ask a question that I think that the agents will really like. So if I'm an agent and I'm already a member of uh, your uh, Temptations um, Rewards Program, yes. how will that fit together with the DO Rewards? Okay, let me show you. So imagine I'm a program, a member of the Temptation. Uh, let me find the Temptation. I'm a member of Temptation Reward Program as me, the agent. I'm going to go to that program. There we are. So Temptation Resorts and Cruises. I'm going to log a booking in Meaches, which is in the Dominican Republic. Temptation Grand Meaches and Temptation Meaches. I am a member of this program logging a booking. And lo and behold, below, it will tell me, see your rewards multiply, you are eligible for more. I will be eligible for a DO travel rewards reward earning as I log the booking for Temptation Meaches. So I log my booking for Temptation Meaches on their program and I will automatically be joined as a member of the DO travel rewards program if I'm not already a member. So automatically done for you. All right, I think we had a, a question from Carol Smith and uh, she was asking something along the same line. So if she has a booking already, will it be added with a, with one of the already registered? It will um, not be hotels? added if you have already entered the booking. If you've already entered a booking, then it would not be added automatically. Um, what I can do is check with the IT team, any booking added as of the 21st of September, we will do a trawl and we will find those bookings that you've logged and we will apply them to the Dominican Republic. So I'll do that all for you as of the 21st of September. But moving forwards, please log your bookings and then they will apply themselves to all of the programs eligible. And uh, I think I will ask one last question with regards to, so if I'm an agent and I'm registered to the program, how will I be able to, to claim my benefits? Okay, so um, you will automatically receive your points or your cash on your virtual account. So if you're a member of Desire, Temptation, if you're a member of uh, Royalton, Playa, Hard Rock, you will log your bookings as normal. And then when you start to earn, each program will approve your bookings and your points or your cash accumulates accordingly, and it will all come onto your homepage here. So your balance will grow, this single balance will grow from each of your programs. And you can see that by my activity. If you click on my activity, it will show you all of the rewards that you've got coming in, all of your rewards pending, declined. Of course, I'm a fake agent, so I don't get anything approved. But if I did, then it would all sit here and I would see all of my bookings coming in. Pending rewards, available points if I had any. And then my cash is on my home page. Click home and there's my, my total cash. Now, if I go to each of the programs, I can see where I've earned my cash from. Does that help? Brilliant. And, uh, and then uh, for me to extract that money, so for, for yes. actually... Good, good question. So I've got £109 burning a hole in my pocket. It's in my virtual account with my book and rewards. I want to transfer my money. I can choose of my 109 I can pull up to 109 Of course, no more. Let's say I do 110 and it will tell me I don't have enough money. Let's put 100 And I now have a choice to push that money to a prepaid card or to Amazon if I'm in France. If I'm in the UK, I can also pay to charity. Now, in this case, it is telling me I do not yet have a card. I can request one for free, and then I can push my money onto my card. So today, as an, as an agent, I can push my money 
to an Amazon gift certificate, which comes to you at the end of every week online via email and then a code. If I had a card, then I would push my money onto the card and it takes between one and six hours for us to move that money across. It's digital, so it's pretty fast. So if I had a card in my possession, I could push it to the card. I, as an agent, don't happen to have one. You can only request a card if you have a balance on your account. If you have a zero balance, the request a free card or buy a card would not become available to you. This would be switched off until you earn money and have it on your bank balance. Brilliant. Um, we have a few more questions. I, um, so um, Carol is asking about um, if it's booking date or travel date. Okay, so the travel day must be in the future and the booking day must be 21 September and after for you to be eligible for a DO travel reward. And um, Jay is asking us if it matters the nationality of the clients. No, we don't. Uh, no, we don't mind which nationality and what the source market is, as long as you log the booking and you're clear on which channel you use. That's fine. Um, someone is saying that they booked um, something on the twentieth, so that was six days ago. I don't think that's eligible because the system has to have a cutoff and a start point. It's it's technology, so it's particularly accurate for that. I think that's all the questions I can see for now. Okay, thanks everyone. Um, so I'm gonna hand to you then, Sabrina, you're gonna tell us a little bit about the latest on the destination, right? Yes, brilliant. I'm really excited. I'm really excited about the DO rewards and also to, to let you all know about um, all the new developments in the different areas in the Dominican. Um, I will start sharing my screen. So without uh, further ado, uh, welcome again to the um, DO Travel Rewards. We, we're so excited to have this uh, rewards program and um, hope that you will all join and earn a lot of rewards. Um, have a little overview of the Dominican. The Dominican is a mini continent, effectively, um, the second largest country in the Caribbean. I hope that this video um, plays all right and gives you a good overview of what it looks like. Um, so, sorry. Technology and teething problems. Here it goes. I think it's my my internet. Or is it playing for you? A desire to be different is precisely what makes us similar. Because if there is one thing we have in common, it's our hunger to discover, share, enjoy in our own unique ways. It's what makes us who we are and who we want to be. Here, it's where all your desires come together. Because you can be all you want. In a place that has it all. So I hope um, you enjoy the video. Um, moving on to my next slide um, to tell you a little bit. Sorry, this has overrun. Somehow it went to the very end. I don't know if many of you have been to the Dominican Republic. 
I hope you have been. And, uh, and if you haven't, I hope you will be coming to see us very soon. So this is where we are, right in the heart of the Caribbean, next to Puerto Rico, um, Cuba, Jamaica. You see the Bahamas there to the north. Uh, the area we occupy of the island of Hispaniola is appro approximately twice the size of Wales. So we're quite big. We're very self-sufficient. Um, approximately 82% of what is consumed in the hotels is produced locally. And I'm telling you that because I want you to understand how we achieve that great value for money that you have whenever you see a Dominican Republic call. So it's fantastic value for money because of, of that aspect. There's a lot of the elements that we don't need to import. Uh, in terms of entry requirements, um, the, you, need, you will need a QR code. Um, it's an, an e-ticket, basically. It's free online. Similar to what other countries have, it's free, but there are also some websites that try to make money on the back of it. If any client tells you that the e-ticket is trying to sell, to charge them, you will know it's not ours. The, so the real one is, is there on the screen. It's um, eticket.migracion.gov.bo. And if you have any problems with that, just reach out to us. We're just an email or a phone call away. In terms of passport validity, passports need to be valid for six months. Um, that has been, there has been like some um, tolerance allowing people to come with just the remaining validity. But I would recommend to tell your clients to have six months validity because that's just an exception to the rule. Anyone that resides in the UK, in Europe, in the US or Canada or in Ireland legally can come to us without um, a visa. That's really important. And, uh, and it has allowed the Dominican to be the center for a lot of family celebrations concerts where people can gather with their friends and relatives from around the world. So important to, ver to bear in, in mind, anyone that can come in and out of the country um, legally can come to the Dominican just with their valid passport. And um, we've included there the best currency to take. I would say US dollars, but all major currencies are easy to exchange locally. And also all major credit cards and debit cards are widely accepted. And uh, in terms of international airports, we have fantastic connectivity. Um, the, you can see there number one, Punta Cana Airport to your right. Um, it's our busiest airport. Um, it's the one closest to a lot of the uh, resorts that you may be familiar with. Uh, we also have um, Puerto Plata in the north. It's uh, shown there with number two. Puerto Plata is where our uh, tourist industry began, and I'll tell you more about it later. You also see Santo Domingo with number three, Santiago um, uh, with number four. Um, the, number five, La Romana Airport, is only 45 minutes away from Punta Cana, and Samana Airport uh, shown up there in number six. In terms of experiences, so I, I'm going to quote what the lady uh, was saying in the video. Um, you can be all you want if you want to be like a nature explorer, you can. There's a wealth of experiences from hiking, cenotes, waterfall, spotting wildlife, um, or uh, visiting plantations. Culture-wise, we also have a lot of iconic sites, museums, um, a rum factory, cigar factory, baseball, if you're into sport. Um, also leisure-wise, uh, we have a lot of uh, rec recreational parks. Music, merengue and bachata music are both originally from the Dominican Republic. So if you've been Zumba, you would have heard merengue and bachata, both originally from the Dominican. We also have um, casinos. We're home to some of the largest mega yacht marinas in the Caribbean. In terms of a, a more adventure as well, our sports, we have golf, scuba diving, fishing, um, safaris, um, also mountain mountaineering, canyoning. I'll be showing you a bit more in my other slides. Um, Golf-wise, we have um, fabulous golf courses for every skill level and designed by all those big names in golf that you see there in my slide, Jack Nicklaus, um, Pete Dye and PB Dye, Robert Trent Jones, Gary Player. So if you have um, like um, golf, people that play golf and some that don't, you have the perfect combination there as well. Um, Puerto Plata in the north of the Dominican. Um, you see there to your left San Felipe port um, from when where the Spaniards used to defend um, the fort. Puerto Plata, it's actually 
and that region where everything began, the first settlement in the Americas. You see there the only cable car in the Caribbean. And if you, when you go up that, the, you, the sites are breathtaking. It, it takes you up a cable car. It, it's also the North is home to Cabarete, the Mecca of windsurfing and kite surfing. And um, I've done uh, what you see there on the right, the Damahagua Falls. I can't say one of the most exhilarating things I've, that I've done in my life. Absolutely loved it. Um, Punta Cana to the east. So a lot of you would be familiar. This in Punta Cana, we have uh, a wealth of hotels um, from Las Vegas style, um, hard rock, small boutique accommodation like um, Tortuga Bay Villas, um, Golden Bear Lodge, and so many others, all the, all the spectrum all across. You're also near to um, adventure parks, golf, um, and uh, the east also has um, La Romana. Um, La Romana is 45 minutes away, as I mentioned in the beginning. Santo Domingo, which is also my background, um, it's the oldest city founded by the Europeans in the Americas. It's also, I was born in the middle of this old town, so very dear to me. Uh, you can see there, it's absolutely stunning. Spanish architecture, cobblestones. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the first cathedral of the Americas, the first university of, of the Americas, the first hospital, the first street. I would encourage anyone going for more than a week to visit Santo Domingo, and if you can, to stay there as well. It's absolutely beautiful at night, very groovy, full of nice little bars and restaurants, fantastic cuisine, great museums as well. And Samana Peninsula. Um, Samana is the uh, northeast, and um, from a, Samana is beautiful. It has a different personality compared to the other resorts. You see there to your left the Limon waterfall, stunning beaches at every corner, and it's also uh, where we can watch the humpback whales during the winter months, January, February, March. And there to um, to your right. You see Cayo Levantado Hotel. It's a wellness hotel. It opened in July, in June of this year. It's beautiful, very exclusive. Um, I invite you to um, learn more about Cayo Levantado Hotel. A wonderful um, experience. Paraona in Pedernales, um, you see there um, to the southwest of the Dominican. And I will be, it's a place for the wonder lovers, fantastic bird watching adventure, all that beauty that you see there, very unexplored, very virgin. And I have, we have, um, I will mention a bit more about it in, in our developments. So back to our developments, Miches. Miches, it's accessible from, uh, from Punta Cana. So you can land in, in Punta Cana and you can drive to Miches. Some of you would be familiar if you have heard of uh, the Temptation Resort that have been really active promoting their farm trips um, here in the UK, but it's also um, a home to many de other developments, several other developments such as the Club Med, uh, very soon a uh, Four Seasons Resort as well, and several other great investments, uh, all um, around a lot of sustainability, nature, um, new experiences. Punta Bergantin in Puerto Plata, so I, I mentioned about Puerto Plata earlier, Punta Bergantin, it's a, a development that has launched recently. It will include new hotels. Um, uh, there's a Planet Hollywood Hotel in the pipeline, but also film studios um, that are co-owned by Vin Diesel, golf courses, second homes. So watch this, watch this space for Punta Bergantin because there's a lot of exciting news um, around that development. Um, in Punta Cana, we have... Uh, a new Kathmandu um, Park that opened recently and uh, also opening next month, El Dorado Park, uh, which uh, aims to be the biggest water park in the Caribbean, but will include more than 30 attractions. And in Cabo Rojo in the Southwest, I mentioned that I had some news about that. So Cabo Rojo will be available to visit um, in, in, with cruises. Absolutely beautiful. So here's a bit more about the different projects in terms of accommodation in, uh, in Miches. And uh, a, also in terms of experiences, Miches is home to Playa Redonda. You would have seen in, in some of the um, Instagrammers more about Punta Bergantin and about Kathmandu and Dorado Park. 
and about Cabo Globo that will be welcoming um, the new cruise visitors um, from December of this year. And these are some of the brands represented um, in, in beaches for you to see. Uh, some, I'm sure some of you will be familiar with these names. It's really exciting. So we have a lot more news to tell you. Um, we don't have enough time, but so much more to tell you about the Samana Bay port. Of course, you know also that we have in Puerto Plata, Amber Cove and Taino Bay ports, Santo Domingo in terms of cruising, a wealth of uh, novelties in the Dominican. And we hope to stay connected and we hope you will earn a lot of rewards and let's do this together. Thank you for joining us. Super, thank you very much, Sabrina. Um, we have a question that's come in as well. Um, how far in advance can the entry requirements so the e-ticket process when flying into the Dominican Republic be completed? That's a great question because originally uh, the e-ticket needed to be completed uh, within 72 hours of arrival and that is no longer the case. So the e-ticket changed in, um, in December of last year. They eliminated the health declaration and also the, it can be done as soon as you book. The arrival and departure. So you, you will know when you're leaving and you can do both arrival and departure QR codes um, at the same time. Super. And will you be able to send us the link that we need to click on to be able to do that when you do the yes. follow up? Yes, sure. I can I can send the link and um, uh, it's in the presentation as well. So if anyone goes back, uh, but I'll send the link in the follow up. Absolutely. We're, we're here. Very happy to answer any any questions. We're here for you. Yeah, we've got another question. Um, do you know if there's any plans to increase the regional flying such as Scotland, for example? Um, we have, um, so it, historically, we've only ever had uh, flights from um, Scotland, I think once on a charter basis. It's been difficult. Airlines are businesses and they need, they're very, it's really expensive to fly. So at the moment, we're trying to increase our flight capacity um, overall. It remains three times a week with British Airways. And TUI has like 10 flights a week from different airports, so from Gatwick, Manchester, we hope that's accessible from Scotland. We know it's uh, a bit of a drive, but uh, one can easily con connect via a Gatwick as well um, with, uh, with BA. Um, Birmingham and Bristol seasonal flights as well to, to Punta Cana. Okay, super. Um, Thank you, Petra, for sharing the, the link to the, to the e-ticket. You're very no. welcome. Um, I've seen that from Petra, thank you. Um, when would the resorts in Mishis be opening, for example, Dreams? Um, I will uh, include that in the follow-up with the, the dates that are in the pipeline. Super, thank you very much. Um, we don't appear to have any other questions. Um, if you do have anything else, when we do the follow-up, you will receive the contact details of Sabrina and also myself, if you've got any questions whatsoever, um, do let Sabrina know with regards to the Dominican Republic. If you need any more help with earning um, your rewards, let us know. Um, Darren, do you have anything else to cover? No, I'm good. Um, if anyone's got any questions, they know how to find us. Uh, they can write to us at uh, My Book and Rewards or they can go onto their message board on any of the programs and find us, me or you. Um, I think everybody's quite clear from the questions I see, um, but we're obviously here 24 seven monitoring the system, monitoring their logging of the bookings. Um, as we said, if we can see you, we can invite you. If we can't see you logging bookings, we don't know you're there. So log the bookings and we'll see you on the next fan trip. Super, thank you very much. Um, so Sabrina, I think you have a couple of questions for us. Um, so if everybody can go to chat and make sure your drop down says everyone, Sabrina's got three Dominican Republic goodie bags to give away. Um, are you going to ask three questions, Sabrina, or just the one? Um, so I will ask um, three different questions to, so that I can gauge um, how well I explain what the, the news about the Dominican. So who remembers the name of that region that will already has um, a, a club med and a temptation resort and will soon have a four season. Brilliant, I see the answers coming, great. 
We're on Very it. Excited. Bonnie was the first. Um, she's put Mishes. Is that the correct answer? That's the correct answer, yes. So Excellent. my next question is like, what's the name of the wellness focus resort um, in the of the Samana Peninsula? Brilliant. Wow. I see the answers coming through there. <laughs> and um, my other question is can I just, regarding... Can I just check Kaya Levantado? That's correct. Yeah, it's Cayo Levantado. And Lindsay, has she spelled it correctly as well? Excellent. So, and, um, my last question is regarding Punta Bergantin. Um, does anyone remember where, in which area of the Dominican Republic Punta Bergantin will be? Punta, can you say it more of an English accent? <laughs> With the... Punta Bergantin. Punta Bergantin. Okay. Brilliant. I see answers there. I see some answers. Um, okay, we've got a... Nirvana and Cabo Rocco. Are either of those correct? Um, so, I yes, so it, it is in Puerto Plata. And uh, just to clarify, Cabo Rojo is uh, it's to the southwest. Um, it's where the cruises will be pulling from December of this year. So that's another new development, but it's not the one that I asked about. But, you know, well done, all of you. Super. So we, um, have, I will... Greg, we have Greg who said near Punta Plana, Plata, and we had Emma who said, Puerto Plata, which one would be correct? They're both correct. Um, okay. it, it's the Puerto Plata area, so they're both correct. Santo okay. Domingo, it's our capital, and it's where it all, where, where like the first city, the first university, and the first hospital are. So just to explain a bit that about that, and La Romana, it's, uh, it's also like a, has a, a cruise terminal, but I didn't include that in the questions. Super. Thanks. Thank, Thank you very much okay so big thank you to everybody for joining us today hope you've learned a lot and especially how to use the system and all the new updates we've got from the dominican republic team if you do have anything else don't hesitate to contact us keep showing us the love as the dominican republic team are showing you the love they're trade friendly they want to work with you um so please any bookings send their way big thank you to sabrina rebecca and petra for joining us today and of course to our Darren. Thank you, everybody. And thank you all so much. Thank you. Bye, everybody.